You're welcome to the secret place. A place of revival. May you remain blessed as you watch this video to the end in Jesus' name. Amen. Why do people think Pastor Lazarus Mocha is a product of deeper life? Pastor Lazarus Mocha was born into a Catholic home. It was believed that he grew up in Catholic and began his ministerial career in the Catholic Church before he eventually pulled out of the Catholic Church in obedience to God's call. Pastor Lazarus Mocha pulled out of his former church and established the Lord's Chosen Church on the 23rd of December, 2002. How did Pastor Kamui come into the picture? While talking about Pastor Lazarus Mocha, we have people who believe that Pastor Lazarus Mocha pulled out of deeper life before he established his own church. Don't be in haste to comment. I will analyze everything in detail. After the establishment of the Lord's Chosen Church in 2002, people began to notice some similarities between the Lord's Chosen Church and the Deeper Life Bible Church. For decades, people have known Deeper Life for their distinguished Deeper Christian life and their uncompromising Christian life. After the birth of the Lord's Chosen Church, people began to notice the similarities between Deeper Life and the Lord's Chosen Church. Things that people notice about Deeper Life and the Lord's Chosen which are similar are their mode of dressing and holy lifestyle. Some people attested to the fact that Pastor Lazarus Mocha may not have been a full member of Deeper Life Bible Church, but he was saved in Deeper Life Bible Church. Please don't be in a hurry to drop negative comments. By the time we get to the end of this video, you'll see the whole truth. I made a video about two months ago, featuring mega pastors that have left Deeper Life Bible Church, in which Pastor Lazarus Mocha is among. I got a lot of insulting and negative comments from people, saying Lazarus Mocha never attended Deeper Life Bible Church. Now, this is what I want you to know. There are a lot of things you don't know about your pastors. You need to know not everything about them is on the internet. They also have their privacy too. Besides, there was no internet in those days when majority of these pastors were still young. Therefore, there are many things they do that you will never know as their member except you were there when it all happened. Here is a mystery you should think about before you argue if Lazarus Mocha ever attended Deeper Life or not. Pastor Lazarus Mocha would not pulled out of the Catholic Church and established his own church based on the Deeper Life doctrine. If he had not attended Deeper Life, or listen to one of Pastor Kamui's messages that made him have a change of mind. If Pastor Lazarus hadn't had an encounter with Deeper Life or Pastor Kamui, I think he should have continued with the Catholic doctrine after he pulled out of Catholicism to establish his own church. But, reverse is the case, instead of continuing with Catholic doctrine after he pulled out of Catholicism, he embraces the Deeper Life doctrine. There is something hidden here, and it has a question mark. So, you need to ponder on this thing and ask yourself. If the founder of the Lord's Chosen never attended Deeper Life, how did he come about the Deeper Christian Life Doctrine? And the two ministries almost have everything in common. Pastor Lazarus may have not come out to speak about Deeper Life publicly before, but that doesn't mean he has nothing to do with Deeper Life. It may be part of his life that he doesn't want to disclose to the public. However, we thank God for the growth of the church since its establishment in 2002. Now, there is a trending topic of the Lord's Chosen which I would like to talk about before bringing this video to the end. Recently, we all saw and heard some mind-blowing testimonies from the members of the Lord's Chosen Church. Therefore, the church has gained a lot of haters and critics over the days now. But there is something people don't seem to understand about the testimony and those people who testified. The majority of the testifiers said what happened to them in the dream. This is not real life. Dream will always remain a dream no matter what because it is spiritual, not physical. Anything can happen in a dream. That is why we say dreams can be meaningless sometimes. In that wise, I don't think people should be holding on to this and criticizing the church simply because someone said he had a dream. Remember the people didn't say it happened in real life, it was in the dream. We saw the video footage of the one that claimed to happen in real life, where a robber wanted to stab the man in his office. Criticizing the church and people who testified will only discourage people who want to testify to the goodness of the Lord in their lives. I am not saying all the testimonies are fact and genuine, but what if the people are sincere? What if there is no lie in their testimonies? What if they actually said what happened to them in a dream? 
Already, we made them look stupid by criticizing them, and we discouraged them from testifying to the goodness of the Lord another time. Moreover, I think the church has its own role to play in ensuring the safety and protection of the good reputation of the church. This is important in other to guide us against criticism and people speaking against the name of the Lord through us. What happened to the Lord's chosen church is a lesson to other churches, that we must interview our members who want to give testimonies, so we would know if it's a testimony we can accommodate or sanction before it comes to the public. Some testimonies shouldn't be allowed to go into the public space. Otherwise, it will only bring shame and reproach to the church as a whole. And being Christians, we should not be the reason why people speak against the name of the Lord. Please, if you have anything to say concerning this, drop your opinion in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. May God bless and increase you in Jesus' name. Please don't forget to share this video with your loved ones. Have a nice day today. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when we drop new video. God bless you.